All right, so this is a little bit about the construction of the trolling motor mount. This is red oak or oak, one by four stock. You really want to use something that's really strong. And the way this was put together, there's a dado joint here. Um, this was glued and, and screwed with uh, stainless steel screws. You can see there's some bolts with uh, nuts, screws with um, wing nuts on here. And this just fits in these two holes on the canoe like that. So it allows you to have a good um, method of mounting. The side, basically on this, pre-drill some holes and you put a couple of really good uh, stainless steel bolts in. This has been on the canoe for about 10 years. So you can see it's, it's, it's weathered a little bit. And really what you want to do is you want to polyurethane with spar varnish, which can take the UV rays. But this is basically how it goes on. I'll show you how it mounts. It goes up like this. Wing nuts on there. Works really well. Some people buy square stern canoes. And to be honest with you, I don't know how you could possibly steer it with your hand behind your back. This gets tiring. This this puts the trolling motor in a good position so that when it's running, um, you really have no issues with it. It goes on like this. This is a, for an anchor line. So you'd be sitting back here, put this on like that. This is a relatively low power, low thrust trolling motor I've had for many years. Pretty much just fits on like this. About 12 or 15 pound thrust pulling water, which moves along pretty good. So, the nice thing about this particular mount is that when you're sitting here, sitting here, imagine that's down further, the handle is very close to where you're sitting. It's very easy to do compared to a square stern canoe where you'd have to put your hand backwards somehow. I don't even know how you do that. Anyway, you ran this for many years. It's very, very good. The other thing I would recommend is that you put your battery somewhere in the middle of the boat in the middle of the canoe to balance out the weight and use just clip on things if you happen to flip over you don't want to go to davy jones locker with the battery it'll pull you right down so you want the battery to release and disconnect this way at least disconnect from from the boat um, that's pretty much it very easy to to make the only other thing that you can be aware of if you happen to live in new york state or any other state um as soon as you put a trolling motor on your and operated canoe it becomes a motorized vehicle and you have to get it registered you have to get a title you have to you have to get uh, registration numbers for it because if you don't um, you can get pulled over and have an issue so one thing to have a canoe with hand paddles but as soon as you electrify it, it becomes a motorized vehicle anyway this is it the nice thing about it is you can keep the regular canoe that that you always have and a lot of times we just want the canoe without this trolling motor on it um, but when we do have it on there um, it goes pretty good <laughs>